Hello everybody and welcome to Synanomics, the money machine. As discussed earlier in the meditation series, I'm going to elaborate further on the Silva mind control method. Yes, you heard that right. Silva mind control method. So, in fact, if you look at the meditation, meditation I've already explained in multiple videos and the principle remains the same. But guys, I'm hearing a lot of uh, comments that many of you are having difficulties concentrating and getting to that alpha state, which is kind of the prerequisite to get into the deeper meditation or creative visualization. Silva method of mind control is nothing but is a meditative technique. And to be very frank with you, all these meditations are part of the yoga, which came out from India long back, something like thousands of years back. And I have a separate video on that. I would recommend you to go and look at it. So in the Western world, when they studied that, they did some uh, analysis and actually went through the psychological qualification for all these techniques. And they gave their own names. Silva mind control method is nothing but it's a meditative technique explained a little bit in the psychological context so that everybody can accept it and practice it. So, of course, it adds a lot of value in that anyway. Now, last time I talked about three scenes method, but before getting into the three scenes method, you get into the alpha state and mind centering method or Silva mind centering method is pretty much that. So, I'm going to talk about that. So, it will have three components. The first component will be very much, I will explain what this whole technique is all about. In the second, I will go a little bit with the guided meditation. Yes, you heard that right. I have got plenty of requests to try that out and I'm going to do that for you. So I'll get into the guided meditation mode, especially for the centering exercise. And I'll guide you how to do that while you are listening to this video. And in the third and the last section, I'll a little bit kind of close this with some affirmations and how you can do more practice so that you can get into that straight, that state straight away. Well, without further ado, let's talk about it. So, as I talked about the relaxation techniques in the meditation series, this also has three different levels of relaxation. The idea is basically to bring you to the alpha state. I won't go into the details of the alpha state. I've covered that in quite a bit of details in the previous videos. So I will recommend you and request you to have a look at those. Coming back to the mind centering method, the first one is basically to relax your body. And the best thing to relax your body or to the best way to start that is to take some deep breaths. Yes, you heard that right, guys. Take some deep breaths, relax your body. And how would you relax your body? Actually, you tell your mind to relax your brain, which in turn relax your body. That's how the cycle works. The second state is basically to relax your mind. Yes. Once your body is relaxed, now you have to relax your mind. And the third and the last stage of this centering exercise is to get into the deeper state of relaxation, deeper state of relaxed mind. And once you get to that state, you can do some affirmations, etc. And then you, either you can discontinue for that day or you can get into the next level of three scenes techniques, visualization techniques, etc. So, the whole meditation exercise or the meditative practice has been kind of broken down into different levels, different stages. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that so that you practice that without much challenges. Well, you, go, you got to take some deep breaths and start relaxing your body. So this is in nutshell the overall process. Now let's get into the guided meditation phase. And at this stage, 
I will actually ask you to relax yourself. Wherever you are sitting or lying down, whatever you are doing, just make, so, make yourself comfortable in that position. If you are sitting down, you want to relax a little bit by leaning over, do that. If you are lying down, you want to do a little bit of a change in your positions, do that. If you think, ideally you should close your eyes. But if you are not comfortable closing your eyes and listening to me, you can open that as well. But the best approach is to close your eyes. Well, let's start that now. Sit in a comfortable position, close your eyes and take some deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Visualize that when you are breathing in, the air that's going out is clean, bluish white. And when you are breathing out, it's a little bit murky, smoky, grayish. Take some deep breaths and breathe it out. Do that three times. Keep closing your eyes. Concentrate between your eyebrows, the Agya Chakra that I talked about earlier. And now concentrate on your head, on your skull. And you will, you will detect a fine vibration, a tingling sensation and a feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Concentrate on that. If you are not feeling it, if you are not feeling that vibration, doesn't matter. Over a period of time, you will be able to do that. Now release and completely relax all tensions and your ligament pressures in that part of the body. At this stage, we are talking about the head, the skull. Just release all the tensions and relax and place it into the deep state of relaxation which will go deeper and deeper as we move on. Now to enter the next deeper healthier state of mind concentrate on your face. Concentrate on the skin of your face. Again, you will detect a fine vibration, a tingling sensation and the feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Feel it, release it, relax it and move on. Now we are going to the next level to enter the deeper, healthier level of mind, now we are going to the neck. Figure that out pretty much in the same way. Detect the fine vibration, a tingling sensation and feeling of warmth caused by the circulation. Concentrate on the skin covering your body. Release it. Relax it and get into the deeper state of relaxation. Now we are going to the chest area to enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. Concentrate on your chest area pretty much in the same way. Detect the fine vibration, tingling sensation and a feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Release it. Relax, release all the tensions and move on to the next body part. Let's go to your thighs now. Concentrate on your thighs. Detect the fine vibration, a tingling sensation and a feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Relax, 
and release all the tensions and ligament pressures from your thighs and move into the deeper level of relaxation. Now, a further deeper level of relaxation and your mind will go down to your knees. Feel the same way. Detect a fine vibration, a tingling sensation and a feeling of warmth caused by circulation around your knees. Release the tension, relax all the ligament pressures and the tensions in your knees. Go down to cough. Same process. Detect the fine vibration, tingling sensation and the feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Release it, relax your cough and move to the next level of relaxation. Now we'll go to the toes. Feel it. Detect the fine vibration, tingling sensation and the feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Relax your toes and move to your soul. Do the same process. Relax it. Get into your hill. Do the same. Detect the fine vibration, tingling sensation and the feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Relax your heels. Release all the pressures. And for time being, you just feel that that's not part of your body. Yes. Just imagine that the sole or the feet is not part of your body. Move up. Go to the knees, the calves, the thighs, the chest area. And feel that they are not part of your body. And you are very much in the relaxed state. During this process, in the beginning or even now, you can visualize number three because this is the third state and we will move from three to two to one. So just imagine that whatever you have relaxed now is completely relaxed and in fact not part of your body. Try to visualize number three. Now we are ready to move into the next state the second state. Now you project your mind to a place of tranquility. Once your body is relaxed, we are moving into the second level of relaxation of the mind. In order to do that, project your mind to a place where you feel peace, tranquility, happiness. It can be different places for different people. It can be a beach where you can, you can see the waves, you can see the sea touching the sky, you can, see the, you can feel the breeze, you can feel the birds singing. It can be a woods, a, a relaxed walk in the woods. You feel the same way, feel the birds singing, feel the Feel the breeze on your face or it can be a kind of a mountain. Whatever gives you pleasure and tranquility, project your mind to that place. And that's where we are going to practice the relaxation of the mind. Now, practice and visualize this tranquil and passive scene. Sit down there, concentrate. Look at those scenes, feel it, as I said earlier, feel with all your senses, your touch, your smell, your feel and everything. Feel the breeze, feel the sound, noise should not distract you. In, in fact, noise should help you to relax your mind because your body is relaxed. Be in that state for some time. 
If you are in the beach, just focus on that. Look at it. Look at the scene. Concentrate on that. If you are on the wood walking, just concentrate on walking. Feel the ambience. Feel the woods. Feel the sky. Feel the breeze. Some of you might be liking something like flowers, the garden. So you will see plenty of flowers of your choice, your favorite flowers blooming. That could be another one. Just be in that state for some time and relax. Now, visualize number two. Tell your mind to relax. Tell yourself that you are sitting in that tranquil position of your favorite place and you are totally relaxed. We have come to the relaxation of your mind. Be in that state for a few minutes and then we move into the level one. And that is guys, get into the deeper state of the mind. In that state, in that tranquil state, now we are looking, getting into much deeper level, alpha level of that. So remember alpha level starts from seven cycles of the brain to 10, 12 cycles. So you're getting into that. Your whole body is relaxed, your mind is relaxed. And now we are going to use the technique which is called the countdown technique. I've covered that earlier as well. Let's do that again. We'll do the countdown technique. Here you will count either from 100 to 1 or from 50 to 1 or from 10 to 1 depending on the level of your practice. I, I would recommend you to start with 100 to 1 when you do that practice alone. Today we will count from 10 to 1. So relax your mind, cool yourself down and I'm going to count from 10 to 1. Just feel that and just feel that your body is relaxing, completely getting into the alpha state, half asleep but you are, you are awake, not wild, not wide awake like in the beta state but you are awake but very, very relaxed. Let's start that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Be in that state for some time. At this state, think about that when, once you get back to your beta normal state, you will be much relaxed, much better, much healthier and much happier. At this state, you can actually speak in your mind, do some affirmations. Something like that. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better, better and better. My life is getting better and I'm making everybody happy. I'm happy, powerful, healthy, wealthy and wise. I'm a money magnet. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. I'm doing great at my work, contributing a lot to the company I'm working for, to the team I'm working for. Everybody loves me, likes me, and I'm very happy. With that, a little bit relax, be in that state. I will bring you back to normal. I will count one to five. Starting from 1 to 5. Once I get to 5, you open your eyes. Let's do that. 
one, two, three, four, and five. You open your eyes, be in that relaxed state for some time. And now you're back to normal. You're feeling much relaxed, much happier, and more fulfilled. That concludes the Silva Centering Method and the Guided Meditation. Guys, the best time to do that, as I have talked about it earlier, is early morning. Once you get up, you can do that on the bed. The second best time is in the night when you're retiring, going to bed. If you can keep yourself awake at that time, that's the second best time. Third best time is the noon. On the day you're not working or if you are working from home, you're a housewife, homemaker, whatever, that's the third best time. You should do that three times a day, but if you can do that twice a day, once a day, twice a week, whatever suits you, you can do that. Once you have practiced that and you continue to practice, you will get into that straight, straight away. You'll get into that state straight away. With that, Practice that, listen to this video, close your eyes and go through this guided meditation. Leave your comments in the comment section, guys. If you have any difficulties or any questions or you want to look at some other techniques, let me know. Synonomics is out there. To make your life better and richer. With that, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll come back again in the meditative series with some new techniques so that you can practice them and benefit out of it. Till then, it's a goodbye from your life coach, Pankasinha. Bye-bye.